Let's start in the room. Spencer, what was your perception of, of what happened that stretch where you picked up a technical and then Jason had the, 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 the quick two after that? Um, my my tech he said was because he felt like I was disrespectful to him, um, because of when I got the um, the delay of game. I felt like uh, Chris has ran my back, and so I traveled obviously, and so JB made the layup, and I turned around and said, "Well, what is that?" And then he said, "Tech." Um, I don't know the exchange between uh, Coach Kidd and uh, him, the first tech. I know that the second tech, um, he said, well, whose ball is it? And then he uh, teched him again and tossed him. So, I mean, it, I'm assuming it, you know, 90% of communication is nonverbal, so it had to be a nonverbal cues that got us these texts because it couldn't have been the words actually used. Hey man, human beings, dog. <laughs> was there a higher level of emotion for you coming into the game with your return back to DC and coming into this arena in the visiting locker room instead of the home locker room and that sort of thing? Uh, to a degree, I mean, but it wasn't like Brooklyn, for example, where like I spent five years, grew a lot, made a home. You know what I'm saying? I was in and out. I was here for a couple months. Um, definitely more so than any other game, of course, but like not to the degree of something else that I've experienced as well. Were you, ex were you expecting the tribute video they gave you? Honestly, because of Davis, yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel like if, because Davis spent actual time here. You know what I mean? I feel like if it wasn't for Davis, then like they wouldn't have, but then it would have been in poor taste if they did it Davis and not me, so you kind of got to like throw it in there at that point. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you too, boss. Um, Coach Hansel Jr. talked before the game about just your uh -huh. I don't want to be the dead horse at all. Yeah. Um, but he basically said that they clarified that, or that you guys kind of knew where you guys were in the direction of going. And I guess my question is, um, how excited are you just to be in this new situation and make it to the playoffs, but at the same time, just write a new book and a new chapter? That was a that was an interesting two part question. Uh, with part two definitely being the more impactful one, so. With that being said, obviously, you know, to play meaningful basketball, to play in the playoffs, to be fighting for the third seed, all those things are a part of what you want as, as, a, as a kid, right? Like, I started playing basketball at four years old. Um, your dream is to win a championship, right? Like, and that's what you strive to do and, and be the best player that you can be and be on a great team and all those other things. And obviously, it's not like we're the odds on favorite, of course, but, you know, we're, we're in striking distance. We, we have... Um, phenomenal talent in the locker room. We have a great chemistry, great vibe, um, great role definition to your point. And, um, you know, we're here to play hard and try to maximize our capabilities and, you know, go as far as we can. A couple of guys over there were saying that they really wanted to win this for KP and they really wanted to just kind of have that extra um, given the trade connection between you guys. Yeah. Did you sense that they had more motivation in that sense than you guys did? Or was that at all a rallying point for y'all that just never kind of panned out? Sense? I mean, I think for both teams it was probably a rallying point. I think for them it's probably um, a bigger focus because they're not playing for anything anymore, right? So, like, if, if you can get up for a game and really put a bullseye on and say, like, this is a game that we are going to win so we can feel good about ourselves, then, of course. Whereas, like, yeah, we're going to rally for this game, but we're also playing for the third seed. We have, you know, other things we're going on. We're trying to get our defense back on track because we understand the playoffs. We have to do certain things. All right, they're throwing junk defenses at us, um, you know, boxing one, other things, switching zones, things like that, switching up. So, you know, for us, there's more pieces to the equation than just, you know, the rallying. But of course, like everybody wants to beat somebody they have a connection to. Like that's that's part of life. Okay, we got one on Zoom Hoop District. Spence, you said you know earlier that during your time at DC, you felt like your role had changed. You know, from being this more aggressive guy to being more of a facilitator. I guess at what point in the season was it after the ten and three start that you felt that that happened, and how was that communicated to you? That was great, Hoop District. I tried to get out of here uh, as diplomatic as possible. Um, 
I don't have a specific game for you. Uh, you know, obviously the piece of the season I was with the Wizards had uh, a lot of different shifts, a lot of different up and downs. Um, I mean, obviously Brad got hurt at one point. We had COVID hit the team at one point. Um, you know, Rui had a long absence and came back. Like, there are a lot of different points. Thomas Bryant came off ACL, a lot of different things that go on to this equation. Um, I've said what I've said about uh, the organization. I know that they've since made comments about their own locker room that have kind of validated what I've said about the situation. So, you know, anything further about their situation is, you know, their situation. I mean, you know, after a 30 point win on their end, of course, it's going to be kind of easy to be like, see, like Spencer did this out in the third, but at the end of the day, like I think the stretch of basketball post All-Star break has kind of validated what I've said. So it's not, you know, like Scoop said, like are we beating a dead horse or are we going to kind of like, you know, let them go to off season and let us go to playoffs and, you know, keep it rocking. Like we, we've had 20 games or so since the All-Star break and essentially their play and their comments, et cetera, have validated everything that I've said the same way that our play has validated what I've said. You know what I'm saying? One game being an anomaly, right? Like, it is what it is, man. Like, it just is what it is. <laughs> like, Anything else? Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm just saying, like, we, 